Yo guys, this will be a massively important video because I'm going to show you what what potentially is going to happen with Bitcoin, but also how hundreds of people trying to scam me and how I can recognize that people are trying to scam me because this is a very important subject I want to talk about in today's video and I'm going to share with you some very interesting ideas. So at the end of this video, you should be prepared and you should not get scammed at all anymore in the crypto space. Okay, guys, let's jump straight into it. Let's start, of course, with scrolling down below this video and smashing up that like button, guys. That is very much appreciated and that will help push this video to as much people as possible who need to hear this about how not to get scammed over in the crypto space. So when we have a look at Bitcoin, we actually and uh, we have we had a massive pump i think it's very beautiful pump uh up to thirty thousand eight hundred till the top of that falling wedge where we have been uh, talking about from this technical pattern right the technical target is the top of the falling wedge and it's actually textbook what's happening because the top of the wedge is the target and we are seeing slightly below the top that people are taking profits and yeah this is just kind of really a textbook falling wedge formation right now it looks like momentum is coming a little bit down could be potentially that we are trading in a bull flag formation and that we are eventually getting a continuational move to the upside you never know it's bitcoin that target would be at roughly 33,618. and guys it really makes kind of sense for bitcoin to do something like this because that would mean that in, in the stablecoin dominance we would be coming down to that support and that is going to be so important because that support will basically determine what is going to happen with Bitcoin over the next weeks ahead. And maybe even will be the determining factor whether we are 16 year cycle with a very explosive 2023 or whether we are going to see 2023 slightly more sideways because if we do come to the support and we don't break that support, we trend up and we go up right here then this is very bearish for bitcoin over the next coming months and we might have a longer correction from this doubling down from the bottom 15,000 to 30,000 we might get a long correction from that i'm not saying that that is going to happen i'm saying this chart will tell us whether that will happen and that is going to be very important because that's a very different outcome right i would definitely want to take profits on bitcoin uh, right now if I would know that we are going to correct for the next coming weeks, right? So this is just something important to note. But yeah, so far we might still have an explosive move because we also, uh, this uptrend so far has been quite conservative based on Bitcoin's terms, right? So yeah, guys, this is what I think is going to happen with Bitcoin. Of course, breaking down uh, will give us a correction hopefully we will get some uh, nice chances of loading our bags at 27.5 27.5k that would be a nice or retest of that former resistance of that uh, falling wedge formation uh if we can break out to the upside like i said the target would be 33,000 something 33,500 but i think the most important thing to watch with the target is when this uh, chart is touching the support because that will be a massive massive level because this is a structure guys that has been created since 2019 so this is a rising channel of four years which means that it is not likely to break but sooner or later we have to break but in and if we break it the market conditions are changing right because the structure of the market is changing the behavior of the market is changing which would be insanely bullish if we break down right here okay guys if you are interested in trading bitcoin and you are interested in joining our telegram group make sure to uh, trade bitcoin over on one of these exchanges i would highly recommend bitget guys also in terms of safety i think bitget is a very good exchange uh, it's right now ranking number one on worldportal.com it has a uh, similar volume right now as that of bybit it has way more trading pairs of that of bybit and the nice thing with uh, bitget is that it also really supports brc20 tokens like 
like already and a lot of artificial intelligence tokens so all my altcoins that i'm holding as of now i am holding on bitget and you can also withdraw them of course to different wallets but uh, yeah i would just want to have a talk about uh, the safety of these exchanges, the safety of self-custody, uh, because I've seen a video from Didi Tahutu, the Bitcoin family, and you most likely have seen this. He got hacked approximately between 100 and 200,000 US dollars in crypto got stolen. And this was from Trust Wallet. This was a self-custody wallet. And I'm going to show you how people try to scam me every single day. So I'm in my, I'm with my face on YouTube, right? And I'm uh, we're having a lot of... Um, yeah, compared to other channels, maybe not so much, but we do have a lot of views. There is a lot of attention going to the blockchain today, and I'm getting a ton load of emails from people trying to scam me on my Telegram uh, is being compromised, and I'm getting suddenly Telegram messages. But one example, and this is, for example, a really smart one, is looking as follow. I get an email, right, from Stripe. It looks like Stripe, and the funny part is... I'm using Stripe with the sales of my um, cryptocurrency trading course online, right? So I'm getting a payment of $1,447 from Stripe. And it says, congratulations, you uh, just received a payment through Stripe. And I get this payment. And I, the first thing is already, what I already found uh, interesting is that I don't recognize this um amount because i don't sell something which has this specific amount right the cryptocurrency trading course is way cheaper than this and then i start to look okay i'm using stripe i don't recognize that account uh, uh, amount they really want me to click on one of these links because that's the whole point of phishing i don't know if you ever heard about the term phishing but they just sent you uh emails and it can be an email with an invoice uh, like this kind of this is kind of an invoice but they 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 are very very smart because this is a this is a service that i'm using and it looks exactly like an email from them but when i then hover with my mouth over for example view dashboard and i go right here you can see that the website is actually different it's not stripe.com it is str capital i or the, sorry this is an lpe.org so once i would click that button i will get malicious malware on my computer and my laptop is compromised and they can they might even go into my metamask or whatever so this is kind of how these hacks work and that's why it's so important guys that you always look which link you are clicking i've see, i see them also on twitter promoted tweets right i've seen it promoted tweets and it sounds too good to be true same as this email wow you suddenly get like 14 1500 dollar it actually sounds too good to be true because they want to catch your attention they want to they want you to feel like oh wow this is nice let's go let's look into this right uh that is the that is the whole point of phishing and they do that with emails and they know a lot a lot of things about you because most of the time they get your emails by hacking these big email lists so for example ledger nano is also often hacked and all those emails are on the are on the street basically and i can see so much people also in my environment they get so much scam emails from fake ledger companies saying that the security is compromised that they have to give the 24 word c phrase uh to 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 improve the security whatever the excuse is it's too lame right but then once they give that uh, 24 hour key phrase or they log in somewhere online yes the hacker has access and they can withdraw all your funds so you got to be very careful and there are a lot of other hacks too which i will mention as well so we have this one this is called phishing uh and this actually goes kind of along with with most hacks because with most hacks you need to click on a link sometimes they really replicate replicate a whole website so you can go to uniswap right you can go to a fake uniswap connect your metamask wallet and you realize that that's not real uniswap 
So you really got to go to the URL and check, okay, this is uniswap.org, right? If it's like UNL swap, because that's how they work. They make, for example, UNL swap.org. They completely replicate Uniswap. You just like launch app, connect, connect wallet, connect MetaMask, sign, bam. They can, they can take your, uh, they can take your funds out of your wallet. So you got to be really careful because in crypto, you have self custody. You are the boss of your own funds. And I do recognize some exchanges also carry a risk like we have seen with FTX, but on the other hand, exchanges also carry some safety. For example, BitGet uh, does have like a insurance funds and uh, they, they got compromised one time because of um, a lot of users lost money because bad actors were dumping on their platform and they could in time block it and use their own money to, um, to give the funds back to the users. I think that's very respectful. A self custody wallet would never do that, right? So in one sense, I think it's also quite safe to have some funds on an exchange. You gotta be very careful though, for example, in a bear market, like we have seen with FTX, of course, this carries also risks. You gotta know in which market you are playing because when we are in a bear market and a lot of these exchanges, they are they have so much liquidity in crypto and if everything just continues to go down, you know, they might get some they might get some problems. So in a bear market, I would maybe less likely suggest to have high amounts on an exchange. But I do think that in a lot of ways, uh, having funds on an exchange might be safer than self custody. Because the amount of times you heard that MetaMask wallets get hacked because you press a certain link, it's, all, it's always sometimes you did something yourself, right? You always pressed a link or something. It's, it's not that they can hack you out of nowhere. You have to press a link. Um, so yeah, but on exchange, you don't have that, right? If you have, for example, your email, your Google authenticator, but you, you don't have your uh, phone number connected to your email. So they cannot reset your Google authenticator, uh, through your email because your phone is connected. Then it's already done. They cannot hack you on the exchange because they need your email. They need your phone. They need access to your email. They need access to your phone, Google authenticator. This is very, very unlikely. Right. And if you go to a website, to a fake MetaMask website, whatever, you click on connect wallet, bam, your wallet is connected. This is quite dangerous. So I would say in a lot of of lot of cases, it is safer to have your uh, crypto on an exchange than in a self custody wallet because that self custody is a hot wallet. Now comes the other part. If you have a cold wallet that can be a ledger, that can be a treasure, that can be any other companies out there. Uh, that means that to access your funds, you need the hardware wallet. So that's a cold storage, right? So without the hardware wallet, you cannot access those funds. Well, how the hacker is going to hack a wallet that is offline, that is a cold wallet. You cannot hack that. That's very difficult. So the, you, you really decrease the chances. So I would always say, and that's also my strategy kind of, my hot position is always on hardware wallets, cold storage, located in different places, uh, very difficult. It's, it's really impossible to get to, uh, to get to these cold wallets, basically. Then my trading game is in these exchanges which are i wouldn't call them really hot wallets because you also have some re reliability from the exchange the most exchanges have a insurance fund which means that if they do get hacked in a crazy scenario uh, they might have compensation for that as well so i think that's quite safe um, and i do use i do use wallets like metamask for example but i don't have a significant amount of funds there I just, I just play a little bit around, maybe uh, play a little bit around with NFTs. I play a bit around with Uniswap, swapping some coins, but I don't have any significant amount that if the wallet would be gone, the wallet would disappear. I don't give a shit. I don't care. It's fine. You know, it wouldn't be that life changing for me to lose that wallet. And I think that is very important. It is very important for every single one of you to really value the security of your own crypto 
Uh, I got even scammed recently, guys. I can tell you a story. And I'm already in the space since 2016. And I was really, I was really, um, how do you say? I was really surprised by that. So what happened, let me explain it. I was doing a giveaway on the... I guess it was on the world portal twitter i was doing a giveaway and then after after the term like i, I don't know seven days or something i we picked the winner right so then suddenly i picked the winner i remember there was one girl from the united states i guess and i announced the winner five minutes later i get a public tweet with the same profile picture the same name as that girl who won uh, like, hey, yeah, can you send the funds to this address? Uh, I would like to do it public so everyone can see you sent the transaction. And I was like, oh, that makes sense because uh, maybe maybe some people with giveaways they don't they don't send the eventual funds. So if they put the um, the address public, I will just send my funds to there, and everyone can see that I actually paid the giveaway. Right? That was my idea. So I was just sitting on a computer working. Suddenly get that tweet. I was like, oh yeah, okay. I sent the funds. I sent the funds to her, and uh, that night or the day later, I suddenly get a private message from that real girl hey thank you um thank you uh for the giveaway i'm happy that i won i'm very grateful for that and i was like huh? how is that possible because i already sent you the money right so i was trying to look that find that other account that other account completely disappeared and yeah i was talking with the girls like yo i already uh, i thought i already sent you this and that and then she said no i didn't receive it and then i checked and i checked the handle and stuff and i was like oh shit i sent to the wrong one so i again send it to the girl who actually won because she deserved it and but i was really like whoa i i'm in this space since 2016 and i'm still getting scammed here so it is even the best of even the best guys not like uh not like bragging but even the guys who have a lot of knowledge who are in this space already for a long time they can also slip you can just go to a website which looks very similar or like that email from stripe where i just go to the email and like click oh hey that's a that's a weird payment view in dashboard it's like one of the logical things to do okay just view in dashboard right bam compensated or compromised so this is very careful like i don't even open emails where i think uh, i don't expect them so when i get emails and i get daily so many emails from uh shit coins that want to promote on the channel whatever you have to um, like the amount of emails that i that i ignore every single day for promotions on the channel is insane because i'm actually never accepting promotions outside of exchanges right only exchanges that i'm using myself uh, am i promoting but i don't promote any cryptocurrency paid cryptocurrencies right here on the channel uh, or altcoins whatever but half of these emails are scam emails and i know that already before uh, because you can always see like okay the email address is weird or uh, the link is weird so be very careful guys be very mindful when you are in this crypto space I would suggest to have your most funds, your holo position on a cold storage wallet, which is almost impossible to hack. And if you have a uh, wallet where you want to trade, I would say use BitGet or use Bybit. These are two biggest exchanges out there. They are definitely both the most safest one because the bigger the exchange, the safer it is to have your funds on there as well. You want to have an exchange with body. Uh, you also want to have an exchange with not too many regulation, right? That is the problem right now with Binance and Bybit because Bybit needs KYC. Binance in the Netherlands and the UK, you cannot even access those funds anymore. But with Bybit, I also have the feeling they're already stepping into, into that direction of KYC and compliance and BitGet is not at that stage yet. So I think we still have quite some time in Bit to trade on BitGet before we are getting to that stage. Right, so that makes it way easier. You can just sign up with an email, password, Google Authenticator, so your account is secured, but you don't have your link with your passport. Um, because maybe on Bybit, uh, they, they kind of follow the same path like Binance, right? 
But anyway, I think they are both very good. Bitget and Bybit is very good. And for your trading, I would definitely use one of these, um, yeah, one of these exchanges. If you want to use a hot wallet like Trust or MetaMask, that is also fine, and you can uh, you can uh, interact with these swap protocols. But be very mindful about that. If you are using these services from a hot wallet and you're connecting to different websites, uh, maybe also to decentralized exchanges like Apex Pro, you got to connect with, connect with your hardware wallet or with your hot wallet. Be very mindful. Every time you connect your wallet, look, look at the URL. And every time you open an email, never click on any link. First, first hover with your mouse over that link, see what the direction of that link is and pay attention to detail. Like if you quickly unish, uniswap, but the I is an L, you won't see it. The stripe link I just seen you look at this. This is, this is looking and it's so, it is so tiny on the screen, right? Now it's big because I made a sp screenshot, but it's so tiny on the screen. So, uh, you can really fall for this crap. Be very careful because that money that you will lose, you can use for a lot of different things, guys. Provide for your family, give presents to your kids or to your wife or whatever. Treat yourself, invest in yourself, start a business, give to charity. All of these things you can do. And it would be very uh, sad if, if you would just lose your funds by a theft. Um, uh, outside right that would be very sad so this is my warning be very careful be very mindful don't stop with crypto because there's a lot of money that can be made right here we are in a very unique situation but be mindful about what you are doing online okay guys that was it for today's video of course, if you like to join one of these exchanges, you can join so with the affiliate link down below this video. You will get an additional bonus and access to will alerts once you join uh, one of these exchanges. That's very much appreciated. You are supporting the channel with that. You're also supporting Will Portal because actually all the funds that we get from fees are going back into development of the website uh, and of the platform from Will Portal. So very much appreciated, guys. If you like this video, drop a thumbs up. If you are new, make sure to subscribe. I wish every single one of you a very pleasant and beautiful day. And I hope to see every single one of you in the next video.